Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day. From the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for March the 23rd of 2020, well it is titled From the Pleiades to the Eridanus Loop. So what do we see here? Well, this is an image taken of the sky and a very deep image. And what we mean by that is that it was exposed for a long period of time to bring out all of the detail. If you just took a quick image of this, you would see many of the brighter objects that would be bright enough to show up on a short exposure. So you would see things like the Pleiades uh, star cluster uh, towards the top center in the blue there, and the V-shaped Hyades cluster over towards the left-hand side, and that includes the bright star Aldebaran, which is the eye of Taurus the bull, and is actually not a part of the Hyades cluster itself, but just a chance position in the same direction in the sky. Now around them, what we normally do not see in those images are all of the dust cl clouds in this region. So there, when we see deeper exposures, we start to see little dark knots of dust and little bits of dust that are scattered around there. Now, these would normally not be visible unless you take a very long exposure, and that just means that they're very faint. So it takes a lot of work to be able to bring those out in a very, very long exposures to be able to see them. And as we look a little further down the image, we also see some of the emission nebulae. So the darker dust clouds, notice how they're glowing in a darkish uh, brown or grayish color. And when we get a little further down towards the bottom, we start to see a lot of red color. Well, part of this is what is known as the Eridanus Loop, which is a region of emission in the constellation of Eridanus. And the red emission is caused by hydrogen gas. So hydrogen gas, when you excite that gas through the radiation, ultraviolet radiation of hot stars, will then uh, emit red light. What happens is the electrons get excited and they either jump up in the energy levels around the atom or they are removed from the atom altogether. And as they combine and cascade down through the energy levels, one of the prominent colors that is given off is a very distinct red color. So it is a way to track hydrogen gas through the universe because it's very, very distinct and it works very well for regions where the hydrogen gas is being excited like this. So we can see all of that glowing hydrogen gas here, not just the Eridanus loop there, but also more material down towards the bottom and around that is all glowing hydrogen gas. The dustier areas are smaller, are larger particles, not just individual atoms or molecules, but little clumps of material, very, very small by earth dustly standards, but still enough area there to actually be able to be visible. And then, of course, at the top, we did see the two star clusters, well-known star clusters in the constellation of Taurus, which were the Hyades star cluster and the Pleiades star cluster. So that was our picture of the day for March the 23rd of 2020. It was titled, From the Pleiades to the Eridanus Loop. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be Black Hole Shredder. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.